camera, add a bit of makeup on, cut camera again, add a bit of makeup on. It was quite a long <laughs> Why, hello there YouTube and welcome back to 31. So we're on day 19 now. Wow, almost 20 days in. And it's uh, our penultimate day, day 6 of Universal Week. And for that one, I am reviewing the 1941 classic, The Wolfman. <laughs> So this is uh, is written by Kirk uh, Soldmeck and directed by Robert Wagner, starring of course Lon Chaney Jr., Claude Rains, Bela Lugosi, uh, and um, you know and Maria, what's her name, Warren William, and that. So of course this is you know a universal monster that again, like all the others, as become a pop cultural thing and this creature the wolfman this was actually again like the mummy not based on any actual book or source material it was you know just written and you know, made as it was and like i say not based on any you know book or anything like that um so in this we see larry talbot Lancini jr just a regular man uh, until he unfortunately is bitten by a wolf. Fun fact, the wolf that bit him in the film was actually his own pet Alsatian. But we never do see the wolf fully, we just see like the silhouette from the darkness. And then of course, Lon Chaney Jr.'s Larry Talbot then transforms into a werewolf. Which does not have much of a mention of the full moon. I believe that was in another movie, I think the werewolf or was it... Um, was it the um, Werewolf of London, which introduced the silver bullet thing? Now, in this, Lon Chaney transforms into the Wolfman and goes on a terror rampage and that, and becomes a feral animal, and of course strikes horror into a village. We even get gypsies in there as well. Uh, one of them played by Bela Lugosi, who was Dracula, and he's no stranger to Universal Horror, of course. We all know him as Dracula. even went on to be, like, Igor, or the character that would inspire Igor in one of the later Frankenstein films. Uh, and, yeah, so what did I like about this one? Well, first of all, I like the effects for the whole one. Yeah, they look a bit naff now, a bit dated. He's like, you can tell it's a guy with prosthetics and fake hair stuck on him, but don't forget the effort that went into that film and the practical effects. You know, the, the way it's done on, you know, it's clearly done in a studio, the woodlands and the forest pit, but because it's in black and white, I think it works better that way. I think in colour it would ruin the atmosphere and not make it look as convincing. As for where it is filmed in black and white, I think it works. Um, also, um, you know, the transformation scene, yeah, it's kind of dated as well, you know, but don't forget, a lot of work went into that, you know, where they, like, freeze frame, free, you know, then they cut camera, add a bit of makeup on, cut camera again, add a bit of makeup on. It was quite a long process to do, and Lon Chaney Jr. had a lot of patience, and of course, we all know that he was the son of 
silent movie actor, Lon Chaney, the man with many faces. Uh, but Lon Chaney's real name was Crichton Tall Chaney. He just gained the stage name Nick Long Chaney Jr. Um, yeah. I mean, the film, as I say, is very tame today. All these Universal Monster movies are. We're all PG rated. They're not, they don't have the same scare factor they did back in their day. But I like it. I like this movie. And this was my first look at, like, werewolves in, like, anything. And I was, like, I was just greatly fascinated by it. How a man could transform from a man to, like, this wolf-like monster. And... Yeah, and looked effective. Of course, this would go on to gain a 2010 remake with Benicio Del Toro and Anthony Hopkins and Hugo Weaving and Emily Blunt. Uh, and that one, I think, is a good one in its own right, its own good remake. Uh, but this one, I just... I like it. You know, the, there's some human drama setting as well. This film is about 70 minutes long, and they, cram, they, they actually managed to do a lot in that time. And... Does fly by pretty quick. Again, this was the 40s and the 30s. Film was probably 70 minutes, were probably long enough for a film back then. Uh, but the Wolfman, I enjoy it. I mean, yeah, there were a few moments here and there that were a bit slow in that, like the moments where we wait for him to transform. But we also get like a good score and a, a you know a theme to it as well, with uh, you know and the introducing all our cast and actors or should I say players as it was back then but um, yes this actually made werewolves popular I believe before that there were a couple of werewolf pictures you know like a silent one that I think is now lost to time where they used a wolf and then there's that one werewolf of London from 1935 but this one people really got into the werewolf subgenre by then and I feel like you know werewolves are such underrated horror monsters you know but we do have some good classics like an American werewolf in London and of course this one that we're on about now so the Wolfman 1941 we even get um, you know Claude Rains in there too uh, you know the invisible man this time with his face showing um, so yes the Wolfman what am I going to rate this one I think I will give it like I said, a bit of it's dated. I, I did find it a little slow at the very start. Just a little, though, not too much. I'll give it four out of five. Four stabs out of five for the Wolfman. So there you go. There is my review for today. And that is it for your, 30, your helpings of 31. So I will be back tomorrow with a fresh episode where it will be the last day of Universal Week. Uh, and we will then begin our penultimate week with a new theme. So, yeah, uh, join, see you tomorrow, and be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I'm not the only one doing this. There's many of us in there that are doing this 31 days, like, you know, Retro Horror, Tunia's Nine Fingers, uh, I believe um, some others are. The 13th Wolfman, can't forget him. If You know, I'm assuming that he's doing this. And, you know, like I said, just type in 31 days. Everyone's doing something for this Halloween season. So, yeah, till next time, don't have nightmares.